In this video, I'm going to be going over the power of being alone. Let's just jump right into it. Yo, what is good everybody? It's your boy Noah, back again with another YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I help people awaken to their true abilities through wellness and spirituality, aka Noah's Ark. And I'm super grateful for each and every one of you guys for tuning into today's video because in today's video, it's going to be a really important one because I'm going to be talking about the power of being alone and just being by yourself in general and how this can be very, very transformative for everybody, you know, and it might sound a little bit counterintuitive because you might be thinking, oh, well, you know, being alone, how is that helpful, right? We need social connection. We need people to be around us. We need to be around other people, right? And while you're not wrong, there is a tremendous and unspoken power of being by yourself. You know, a lot of us crave to be in relationships, you know, and a lot of us crave to have social connection. And while we need social connection and we need community, we need union, it is important to find community and union by ourselves. It's important for us to be comfortable with being by ourselves because we, because of a lot of us crave to be with somebody else, we can tend to fall into the habit of using other people and using our friends and our relationships in order to kind of be a detriment to our relationships. And I'm going to go into that here in a little bit, but I want to make this video for you guys to speak about the power of being alone because you can actually transform your life by understanding the concept of being alone because like I said before, a lot of us crave social connection and a lot of us crave romantic relationships without us being comfortable with being by ourselves, right? It's important to establish the relationship that you have with yourself before you're able to go into a romantic relationship especially, but even with friendships, right? And deep friendships within yourself, you have to establish a foundation for yourself. You have to feel comfortable with yourself. You know, you have to tap into shadow aspects of yourself. You know, you have to tap into what might leak out in a relationship, you know? A lot of the times when we jump into relationships so quick and we haven't done a lot of inner work, right? This goes for mainly people who are a lot younger. It can sometimes leak out in our relationships and it can kind of be a detriment in those relationships because we don't understand whenever we first, because everyone's on their best behavior whenever they first get into one. But the more you start to know that person, the more they start to figure you out a little bit more and the more that they start to see your wounds and seeing your like unhealed traumas and stuff like that. And this can be detrimental if you, once we don't establish a healthy relationship with ourselves. Sometimes that looks like being alone and being by ourselves and kind of facing our shadow side, facing the side of us that we, our unconscious side, right? The side that we don't really look at on a conscious level a lot. And we have to develop a sort of beneficial relationship with ourselves in order to be able to benefit others in relationships. And this is the power of being by yourself. You know, you can cultivate an amazing relationship with yourself. When you div cultivate an amazing relationship with yourself, it will come through whenever you are out and about, whenever you are out in the world, right? Because other people will see that you have developed this amazing relationship by yourself. And the powerful thing about being by yourself is that you start to develop a really great relationship with yourself, you know? Start practicing solo activity, start doing things that don't require other people, right? Because whenever we do a lot of solo activities, whenever we're by ourselves, we can learn a lot about ourselves, right? This is when we can learn kind of some of the shadow aspects of, of maybe stuff that we need to heal or traumas that we haven't diagnosed, right? And through diagnosing these things and these traumas and kind of this shadow aspect of ourself, we can actually learn and we can gain a lot of valuable wisdom, right? We can learn a lot about ourselves. And when we start to learn about ourselves, we can kind of develop more of a better relationship with ourselves and de develop a more healthy relationship with ourselves because we are tapping into that shadow aspect of us. No one can really change how you feel about yourself. They can plant seeds within you, right? But they can't really develop and they can't really grow the relationship that you have within yourself and how that is gonna be accessed and how you can grow the relationship with yourself is by 
being by yourself and doing things by yourself, right? Being able to be alone. And I understand that there's a dynamic between introverts and extroverts where, you know, extroverts get more charged with by being outside, by being with people. And, you know, this comes a little bit more natural to me because I am an introvert myself. But if you are an extrovert or somebody who kind of recharges by being out with other people, this is an important skill to master, right? Being comfortable with being by yourself, you know, because there isn't going to be, there's going to be a point in time where maybe your friends aren't able to hang out with you or there's some stuff that happens where you can't be out with people, you know, and sometimes people who go out a lot or people who are more so extroverted, they tend to kind of ignore the, their themselves, right? And, and this can kind of create a, a lack of relationship between themselves, right? And they don't really learn a lot about themselves. And this can kind of cause detriment in relationships because of how unaware they are of themselves. And so it's important to cultivate a beautiful relationship with ourselves. And that's why I preach on my channel a lot of the times to practice solo activity by yourself. Now, what does this mean, right? What does this look like? Practicing solo activities by yourself can be anything from do, playing cards by yourself, you know, anything like meditation. I preach meditation on my channel a lot and it's something that is very, very powerful for each and every single one of us. And also going outside in nature, right? Taking walks by yourself, just doing anything independently is really gonna allow you to start to learn more about yourself. You're gonna start to learn what you like and what you don't like, right? And, and when you start learning about yourself and what you don't and do and don't like, then you can start filtering out the things that you enjoy versus the things that you don't enjoy in your life. And it makes your life a lot more peaceful. It also makes your life a lot more freeing because you're able to set boundaries for yourself, right? You're able to create boundaries to where you know exactly what you want out of either a relationship or out of a situation. And you're able to communicate that to other people because you know about yourself enough to where you can establish those boundaries. And that's why it's important to practice being by yourself because it is such a such a beautiful thing when we start to cultivate a relationship within ourselves the reason for that is because whenever we are developing an amazing relationship with ourselves this will manifest in healthy relationships this will manifest in healthy friendships this will manifest in relationships in general right meaning anything that has to do with us connecting with another human this can also help you in your personal life right with whatever it is that you're struggling with understanding and doing things by yourself and and kind of developing a, a relationship with yourself is super super important when we want to face life and we want to kind of work towards our goals and our dreams because we are able to kind of look at ourselves from an objective point of view and be like okay this is kind of what I don't like, this is what I do like, and we're able to grow a lot from this. There's so many times where I see people who kind of jump into relationships very, very soon, and, and then they wonder why it doesn't work out, you know, and meanwhile, they are they have so many issues and internal problems within themselves that it's never gonna work out, right? You If you want to be in a relationship that's healthy, you have to work on the relationship within yourself first, and that is why it's huge to practice being by yourself. You know, you have to feel comfortable being alone, you know, and, and it's not healthy to constantly be by yourself, right? To constantly be alone, but it is healthy to develop a relationship with yourself where you're comfortable enough to be by yourself. And this is the power and the beauty of practicing loneliness and practicing, not loneliness, but practicing being by yourself. It can create a lot of just abundance and prosperity in general because you are able to kind of look at everybody's perspective, everybody's life from a from an observational point of view, meaning you're able to see both sides of the coin, right? Hot, cold, yin and yang, masculine and feminine. You're able to see both sides of the coin because you tapped in and you were able to understand the relationship that you have with yourself and it's become a lot more of a beautiful relationship and this practicing being, being by yourself can allow you to love yourself because it allows you to look at yourself you know it allows you to not judge yourself for the traumas and the trials and tribulations that you've gone through and rather than judging yourself you're able to pat yourself on the back and you're able to, to tell yourself how great you're being 
being by yourself, you know, it's just so powerful because there isn't anything that we can do successfully if we haven't cultivated an amazing relationship with ourselves, right? And this manifests as just being by yourself in general. So that is the power of being alone. That's the power of developing a relationship with yourself. It's one of the most important relationships to have because whenever you develop the relationship you have with yourself, your energy is gonna be very magnetic. People are gonna to wanna to be around you. You know, people are gonna to want to become your friends, right? You will find that you will attract love and relationships in your life when it's not something that you're chasing, you know? When it's something that is, when it's something that you're detached from because you're not looking for a relationship, right? And so that's the importance of being alone and practicing isolation for a little bit, right? Obviously, it's not super healthy to be isolated all, all the time like I've been saying in my video, but it is healthy when you want to cultivate a, a healthy relationship with yourself. And so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys learned something, gained something. Before I go, I wanna give a huge shout out to each and every single one of you guys because the amount of traction that I've seen on my channel has been amazing. It's, it's truly inspiring to know that I can hop on here and share my beliefs and share my truths with each and every one of you. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much. If you guys do have any questions, comments, or concerns for future videos, or like any questions for future videos that you want me to talk about, feel free to comment them down in the description box below. And me and my brother just posted a cover on our cover page. It's called Naj, N-A-J. It'll be one of the first links in the description so make sure to check that out if you are interested but with all that being said my friends have a wonderful afternoon morning or night wherever you're at and peace love and happiness Mwah.